Okay guys, so yesterday or a couple days ago, I said I was going to be putting on this charcoal black mask and I was showing Chris all these YouTube videos. I was like, watch this one, watch this one. Pretty much, if you guys do not know, on YouTube there's this trend going on with all the beauty gurus of putting a DIY charcoal Elmer's glue mask on your face. It sounds crazy, I know putting glue on your face but when they take it off not only is it really painful but all the gook comes out all the blackheads everything and it's really really cool I'm a little scared to put it all over because I got a little bit of peach fuzz and things like that and it kind of rips out your hair as well right now I have my bowl and I have my little brush and I also have charcoal activated charcoal and then you squeeze your Elmer's glue you know the funny thing about this is I went to the dermatologist today and if she knew I was about to take Elmer's glue and charcoal and smear it mm -hmm. all over my face she probably would have been like like just given the eye roller like the honey no don't do it but I didn't tell her no one knows just me and Emmy and now you guys so first we have the activated charcoal all these black little pills so I'm only gonna use I think about three this is the face of fear I'm gonna come back when this is on put it on this is as far as I was gonna go because I saw some girls on YouTube where they put it too close to their eyebrows and they either like took some of the hair off their eyebrows or it was just like really painful. So I was like, I'm not gonna go anywhere near there. It's very thick right now. I have to wait for it to dry probably for about 20 minutes, I'm assuming, or 15 minutes, I don't really know. And then I'll try to rip this thing off. Can you see how thick that is? I'm really shiny. It's dry. <laughs> Stop laughing at me. I'm gonna take this off, I think. I don't know if I can. <laughs> oh my god, they weren't lying. This hurts. You okay? Yeah. Ah ha ha ha. Ah. Mm. Okay, just little sections will do it. Little pieces. We can do this. Oh my god, it's pulling shit out of my... I'm just gonna do like, like a band-aid. One, two, three. Mm -mm. One, two, three. Ooh. Oh my god, ew. I wanna get here. This is the part that I wanna get. Not like hurt, like I can't take it hurt, but it hurts. Do you hear that, guys? It's taking things off, though. Like a lot of stuff. I'll show a little bit, but not much. Hold on. Guys, do you see that? It's kind of gross. Look at all this stuff there. I have to completely wash this off, but so far my face feels really freaking soft. Exfoliated, I guess. Ripped off, kind of. I do recommend it. It doesn't hurt as much as people say it does. I mean, at first it feels like that, but once you rip off the first piece, you get used to it. And you're like, okay, I can take this. So, like I said, I really, really like this mask. It was really strange, but I think it did a really good job. It took a lot of stuff out. Um, not everything, but it took out enough that I would do this again, probably like once a week or once every other week. It definitely kind of made my makeup go on a little bit better, like foundation and stuff. I don't know, maybe it's because it's smoother. Anyway, if any of you guys are out there want to try this, do it. Tweet us a picture of you trying it. That would be funny, actually. Try the mask out and tweet us. With the tongue out? Oh my god, I'm in love. Oh, she's such a big baby. So we just got out of the pet store. I was hanging out with that. 